Break. Welcome everyone. I hope you're feeling well today. Um, have a strap handy today. It doesn't have to be a yoga strap. It can be just a normal um, tea towel or a dressing like a, a dressing belt, dressing gown belt. So grab your strap, have that handy. I'm just gonna bring it a little bit closer. I will um, have the strap by your side and we just lay down onto our backs for a moment. You can have your feet as wide as the mat and just let the knees press together. Rest your hands either on your belly or down on the floor by your side. And just take a moment, let your eyes close and settle for a minute. But notice how you've arrived at your mat today. What's happened before? Perhaps it might be nice just to recognize what's happening after and then letting that go. And see if you can find yourself in this moment. You might be able to feel some muscles here or, or some areas that you know need attention today. So take the next few moments just to breathe some softness into your body. Slowing the breathing down. Just bringing your attention to the breath. Notice if your shoulders are slightly tense and try and relax them. Notice if your jaw is tense or your throat is tense. And soften your eyes, soften your belly. Let's allow the breath to get a little bit longer and a little bit deeper. You can let your head swing from side to side. You can see how that feels through the neck. Massaging the back of the head. And then bringing the head back to the center, carefully start to walk your feet towards each other. You can rest your hands down onto the mat if they're not there already. I was bringing the right knee into your chest and starting to draw circles with that with the right knee. So a nice gentle start. Make the circle as big as you like. Or as big as is possible today. And then take the circle the other way. Hug the right knee into the chest and then extend your left leg away. We're just gonna take a twist here. So right knee over towards the left side. Since this is your first twist, it might feel a little bit stiff. Just take some time to breathe into it. Take one more breath here. And then swinging back onto your back. Hug the right knee in. You can rock the knee from shoulder to shoulder. And then place the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Let the knee open and just let your arms rest up and over your head. 
So it's like a, a non-balancing tree pose. Getting a nice opening in the right hip, in the thigh. Take a deep breath in. And then a long breath out. Bringing the knee back up and then bringing your left knee into the chest. And give it a little squeeze in. And then letting your hands rest either down by your side or above the head. Draw a big circle with the left knee. Okay, try not let the right hip move. Keep that pressing into the back of the mat or into the mat, sorry. And keep pushing down through the, the sole of your right foot. And then take the circle the other way. This is your opportunity to see what, what's happening there in this left hip. What is it that you need to look, at, look after, look out for, take care of today? So hug the left knee into your chest with your hands. And then extend your right leg away. Now we take a twist, so your left knee can fall to the right side. Keep your left arm extended out towards the left. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And feel the expansion and feel the contraction. Swinging back onto your back, hug the left knee back into your chest, and then let the knee move from shoulder to shoulder. You're gonna bring the sole of the left foot to your inner right thigh, and then just let the knee open, let the leg rest on the floor. You can have your arms up and over your head if that feels nice for you. If, if they are over the head, think about the shoulder blades pressing into the mat. Think about the left hip. How does that feel? And try and keep your, the back of your right hip down into the mat. Deep breath in. Long breath in. All right, swinging the left knee back up to the chest. And then bringing the right knee in. We take the strap and we're going to wrap the strap or tea towel around the fronts of your ankles and then lower the feet down next to your, um, your next to your buttocks. Yeah. You've got your hands wrapped around the strap and you can feel the strap tight around your ankles here. Draw the shoulders down the back. Your arms are nice and straight. As you breathe out, draw your penny button back and then lift the hips up to the sky. And keep pulling on the strap here. You can squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. It feels quite nice. And then slowly lower the spine right back down. If you can walk your hands a little bit closer towards your ankles, do that. So it depends on arm length as well. And take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, draw your belly button back and then pull on the strap as you squeeze your shoulder blades together and your knees towards the front of the mat. And then slowly lower right back down. Last time, maybe you walk your hands a bit closer to your ankles. And as you exhale, you draw the belly button back, push down through both feet. And then lift the hips up, squeeze your shoulders together. Use the strap to pull on to help you find a little bit more space. And then slowly lower back there. Releasing the strap, but keep hold of it. <laughs> Excuse me. And extend your right leg up to the sky and then place the strap over the right foot. So you can hold both straps in one in both hands. Flex the foot by pushing the strap down over the ball of the foot. Feel the length through your heel. And you can do gentle pulses here. 
pulsing the leg towards the head. And you can squeeze your shoulder blades into the mat. You can try and relax your, um, your jaw. And as you pulse, notice the sensations in your hamstring. So we don't need to have the knee bent here because you can give yourself more stretch. Try and feel the stretch in the belly of the hamstring, so not behind the knee, not by the sit bones. Try and find it sort of in the, the belly of the hamstring. So we'll pause the pulsing for a moment and try and draw the leg a little bit closer towards the head. Try and feel the whole back down into the mat, so especially the middle back, and then extend your left leg straight. Keep drawing through that left heel now. Squeeze the right toes towards your head. Listen to it though, it's a big stretch. And then you can release, so you can re-bend the left leg, take the strap off the right foot and give the legs a little shake. <laughs> now try taking that left foot. So we we'll hook the strap over the pad of the left foot. Wrap the hands, both hands around the strap. And again, start to pulse the leg towards the head. So it might feel a little bit tight this morning, but use the strap to help you. So then your arm extenders, so you can have the, the leg straight, unless that's a major problem behind the knee. Squeeze the back of the body into the mat. And keep pulsing the leg towards the head. The more you can pull the, the, the top of the foot down from the strap being over the pad of the foot, the more you can lead with the heel, the more stretch you're going to feel. And keep passing just for a few more times. Good. And then holding the, the leg where it feels like you're getting a stretch, but it's not going to. It's not like a pull too much, just a stretch. And then extend your right leg straight. Push through the right heel, squeeze the left hip down. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out, squeeze the back of the body into the mat. Lovely, re bend the right leg, release the left foot, give it a little shake. Gonna do that bridge pose again. So wrap the strap over the front of the ankles. You can always do it without the strap as well. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, stretch out the front of the hips, push the knees forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Long breath in. And long breath out. Release, lower the spine right back down. Just put the strap to one side for a moment. Hug both knees into your chest. And we'll let both knees fall to the right side. Left arm out towards the left side. Breathe into what you're feeling there. Bring the knees back into your chest. We'll let both knees fall down towards the left side. Breathing in, expanding into the space. And breathing in. Good. All right, bring the knees right back into your chest. Nice slow start to the day. Release and roll your way up. We're coming to our, our all fours. So your hands below the shoulders and knees below the hips. Start to just rock forwards and back so you're waking up the wrists a little bit. Then you can take little circles. That's it. Circling the other way. Turning the fingers towards the knees, remembering they might not go all the way around. And again, taking little circles here. Hopefully, legs are feeling here though. Circling the other way. 
flipping the fingers back towards the front, just turn your right hand over so the back of the hand goes onto the floor, palm faced up. And let's tuck the toes under and push the hips back into your heels, just waking up your wrists a little bit and your toes. And then release. Flipping the other hand over. And then tucking those toes under, pushing the hips back into the heels. You feel your thumb, your baby finger on the floor here. Cool. And then release. Okay. And untuck your toes, sit onto your heels. Bring your hands to its lace and we'll draw little circles with the wrists. And then circle it the other way. Good. So a little bit for the shoulders, guys. Catch hold of your strap. Lift up tall, sit up tall. You can always sit cross-legged if you want. Take the strap so it's in line with your shoulders, yeah? So your hands are in line with your shoulders. Pull on the strap, squeeze your shoulders down the back. You've done it with me before. I do them all the time. Pull the strap apart, lift the arms up, just so you can see your uh, hands without lifting your head. And then lower back down. Let's keep going. Two. Pull the strap apart. Three. Four. Keep pulling the strap apart. Five. Keep drawing the shoulders down the back. Six. Give your head a little shake if you need to. Seven. Good. Keep it going. For eight. Keep pulling it apart for nine and ten. Good, release. Give the shoulders a little shake. Now, having the arms bent, 90 degrees, pull the strap apart as much as you can. Lift up from the elbows and then lower back down for one. Keep pulling the strap apart, don't let the elbows go out. Two. Keep it going for three. Why does it hurt so much? Four. Keep it going for five. Don't let the elbows flare out. Six. Pull the strap apart. Seven. Eight. Keep it going. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Nine. And 10. Well done, release. Give the shoulders a little shake. Now take the strap behind you. Hold on to the strap with two hands behind you. Draw the shoulders back. Have your hands close together, if not touching. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Straighten your arms. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, try and pull the strap apart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Give the head a little shake as you do that. Keep the neck soft. And then just relax and soften. And again, draw the shoulders back. Straighten the arms. Try and pull the strap apart. Hold it like that, pulling apart. And then soften. Last time, pulling the strap apart, squeezing your shoulder blades. Hold it there. And then soften. Release. Good. Pop the strap to one side. Give the arms a little bit of a shake. <laughs> Take your hands as wide as the mat, if not wider. So how far apart the, can the hands go? Are you going to bend your left arm and straighten your right arm, dropping your right shoulder down onto the mat? And you can look to the left side here. And then straightening your left arm bend your um, right arm, lower the inner left arm to the floor and you can look to the right hand. So straightening the right arm, bending the left arm, drop the inner right shoulder to the floor. And again, straightening the left arm, bending the right arm. Yeah, just keep it going, rocking from side to side. Stretching out what you've worked. Last few. Good. Coming back, bringing the hands underneath you. 
shoulders, hands underneath the shoulders now. And we're going to take it into a modified puppy pose. <laughs> Put your elbows where your hands are. Wrap your hands around the elbows and then walk the elbows forward. Relax your forehead inside the arms and press down through the elbows. Feel the sit bones lift up. We worked on the, the hamstrings earlier. So it's as you lift your sit bones up, see if that helps to stretch the hamstring. Take one more breath. And then release. Okay, bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. And do your cat cow. So you let your belly sink and lift the head chest up. And then push them out away, round into the back. Spread the shoulders. And again, let your belly sink, lifting the head chest up. And pushing the mat away, rounding into the back. Last time, letting the belly sink, lifting the head and chest up. And then pushing the mat away, rounding into the back. Belly six, lift the head, chest up, tuck your toes under. Let's come into your first down dog. Press the heels down, lift the hips up. And as you lift the sit bones up, feel the hamstrings stretch. Hold it there, deep breath in. Long breath out. Now, without opening the hip, lift your right leg up. Keep the right toes pointing down and then pulse the right leg a little bit higher. Notice how that feels through your left leg. Notice if it's stiff, that's okay. Breathe into the stiffness. Bring your right foot outside your right hand. Hold it here and pulse so you're pulsing the hips down and up. So it's like a little spring. You spring back up as you pulse. Keep pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Good. From here, lower the left knee. Release the left toes. Turn your right foot onto its side. And then just draw your chest forwards for a minute. Swing if you like from side to side. Do what feels nice. So we uh, bend the left leg or not, just see how that feels for you. You can also reach back with the right hand to catch hold of the left foot, maybe twist the chest towards the right. Take one more breath here. Release, bring your right hand back in, come back onto your left leg, right toes to the face. So you can play now with walking your hands over your right leg, taking your body over towards the right side, and just breathing into that space there, see how that feels. Bring your hands back to the center, re-bend into your right leg, lift the back knee up off the floor, and then take your front foot to the back. We'll take the hips up and back into down dog, Press the heels down, lift the sit bones up, push them out away with the hands. Feel the shoulder blades lift up towards the tailbone. So you're going to lift your left leg up to the sky without opening the hip, flexing through the foot and then pulsing the leg. So every time you pulse, your right heel might get a little bit closer to the floor. You're firing up the hamstring on the left leg with you as well as stretching the right hamstring in loop. Bring your left foot outside of your left hand. Stay in the, with the knee off the floor and then just pulse the legs here or pulse the hips. So it's like a spring back up, pulsing up and up. <laughs> so hopefully that's healthy just to fire up the legs a little bit more. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, one. Good. You can lower the left knee, uh, sorry, right knee. Release the right toes, turn the left arm to its side and just draw your chest forwards. So maybe swing from side to side. So you can stay as you are here. 
or bend that right leg in and then reach back and catch hold of the right foot. It's an option though. We just see where you want to go with it. And inhale and exhale. Good, release. Okay. Taking the left hand back, releasing the right leg. Come back onto your right knee, left toes to the sky. Despite all the work we've already done on the hamstrings, still lots to feel there. And we'll walk the hands over towards the left side if that feels all right for you. Good. Creeping over towards the left, just exploring how that changes the stretch. Breath in. And breath out. Good. All right, release. Walk your hands back towards the front. Re-bend into your left leg. Lift the back knee up off the floor. And then take the left foot back into down dog. <clears throat> Try and lift the hips up. Squeeze your heels down. Enjoy your um, down dog. Then you're going to come up high to your toes. Keep your, he your heels nice and high and bend your knees and then swivel your hips from side to side. So you're not pressing the heels down here, you're keeping the heels lifted and then swiveling the hips from side to side. So the hip, the thigh is sliding and gliding in the hips. Coming into that full downward dog, squeezing the heels down, come up high onto the toes again then and roll yourself forwards into your plank pose. Then bend your knees and push your hips up and back down the dog. Again, come up high onto your toes, roll yourself forwards into plank. Bend the knees and push the hips up and back. Last time, high onto the toes, roll yourself forwards into plank. Bend the knees and push the hips up and back. Take a deep breath in, bend the knees and look forwards. You're going to jump both feet inside the hands or set them. Take a halfway lift and leg foot, and then exhale out full, nice heavy. Roll your way up, last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together, lift your arms up, thighs forwards, hips forwards, and then exhale, fold and hinge on hips. Releasing the hands to the floor, inhale, lift the head and chest up. And as you exhale, step or jump your feet to the back of the mat. Lower yourself down, chaturanga. You can drop your knees if you want to. Cobra up jog as you straighten the arms, lift the head chest. And then take it up and back into your downward facing duck. Breath in and breath out. Two more sun salutations. Bend the knees and look forwards. Jump or step your feet inside the hands. Halfway lift once you get there, and then exhale and fold it forwards. Roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together, thighs forwards, hips forward. Lift, uh, hinge from the hips as you fall back down. Releasing the hands. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, plant the hands, jump, or set your feet back. Vinyasa, you can drop your knees if you need to. If you're taking an up dog, straighten the arms, lift the head and chest up. And then take it back down with facing dog. Big breath in here. Long breath out. That's how maybe you can hear your breath. Bend the knees and look forwards. Jump or step the feet inside the hands. Halfway lift length. Exhale and fold. Relax your head. You're starting to find some space now. Okay, roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together. Thighs forwards, hips forwards. And then exhale, fold and hinge. <laughs> Releasing the hands. Inhale, lifting your head and your chest up. Planting the hands. Jump. We'll set your feet back. Vinyasa, 
Go with your flow. You're doing a cobra. Hips are on the floor. Elbows are bent. Take it straight up and back into downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Let's get a little bit deeper into the hips now. We take the right leg up to the sky and you can bend the knee and open up the hip. That should feel quite nice there. Bring your right knee into your nose and then right foot inside the right hand. Okay, you can rock forwards and back here. We'll lower the left knee to the floor again. Uh, move the left foot over towards the right side. Bring your right hand inside your right foot and then your left arm up to the sky. And you can pulse here. Yeah. You can pulse your right knee over your right toes and see how that feels in your hips. You can also be in stillness. Yeah. Take the left arm up and over your head, get a bit more space. Mm -hmm. You can take the left arm all the way back down onto the mat. Return the left leg. Awesome guys, come back onto the left knee, right toes to the face. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. Good, as you exhale again, just move the body over towards the right side and squeeze the right hip down. Good, bringing the hands all the way back to the center. Tuck your back toes under and then just lift your back knee up off the floor. See how that goes. <laughs> We don't want to go down into our splits or anything yet, just exploring this space. Could you take your right foot to the back of the mat here and to your down dog? You can always drop the left knee to do that and then make your way into your down dog. Wiggle the hips, breathe into the space. Left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip, find the space there. Good. Then bring your left knee into your nose, left foot inside the hands. So good, you can rock forwards and back a little bit, just preparing. Lower the right knee to the floor and move the right toes to the left. Take your left hand inside your left leg. You can have a block underneath the left hand here. You could have the forearm on the knee here. I should have said that the first time. Right arm up to the sky. You can pulse the knee over the toes. You could also just stay in stillness. And then take the right arm up and over your head. And take one more breath here. And then release. Okay, <laughs> return your right foot, come back onto your right knee, left toes towards the face. You can have your hands on blocks through all of this. Inhale, lift the head and chest. Exhale, fold over the left leg, squeeze your left hip back. Amazing how much that changes it, just press that left hip back. Walk your hands over towards the left again, breathe into the right side. And creep your right hand a bit further forwards now. Maybe there's more room for you to go a bit further. And then swinging the hands back towards the front. Just tuck your left, uh, right toes under and then lift your right knee up off the floor. Both hands could be on blocks here. Squeeze your left hip back. You can also have a bend in your left knee. One more breath. Somehow take your left foot to the back of the mat. You can drop your right knee, you can swing the left leg around if you need to. Bend the knees and lift the hips up nice and high. Taking the right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up that hip. Right foot inside the left thumb now. So you're probably going to have to wiggle that foot over towards the left side. If you don't get it there in one fail swoop, okay? And then lower the left heel down to the right side. Take your right hand towards the outer edge of the mat on the right side. You can push into the fingertips and then swing the left arm up to the sky. Push your hips forwards here. 
Feels good. Left arm up and over your head. Breathe into that space. Inhale. And exhale. Reach, reach, reach and twist. Good. Lower your left hand to the floor. Pick your back heel up. Walk your right foot over to the right. Stand onto your right leg. Walk the hands forward and lift the left leg up. So it's a half standing split. That left leg is parallel to the floor. Inhale, lift the head and the chest up. And then exhale, fold over your right leg. Relax your head. And you pulse the left leg, pulsing the left heel high towards the sky. And then bend the left leg. Open up the hips, send the knee up to the sky. You can have a bend on your, in your right leg and your hands can be on blocks here. Lower your left foot next to the right. Take a halfway lift and left foot. And then exhale, fold, draw yourself in, relax your head. Slowly roll up, last thing to come up is the head. Arms together, lift the arms up, thighs forward, hips forward. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Again, releasing the hands, inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, jump back or step back. Vinyasa, if you're doing your cobra, lower the hips, draw the shoulders back, keep the elbows bent as you lift the chest up. Up dog, straight arms. Pick it up and back into downward facing dog, squeeze the heels to the floor. Left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Turn the left foot next to right thumb. See if you get it there in one swoop. <laughs> if not, don't worry. A couple of little steps is perfect. Lower the right heel to the floor. That's it. <laughs> and then take the left hand over to the left side. Push into your fingertips and reach your right arm up. You can pulse the hips forwards here or stay here in stillness. Make sure you're grounded through, the, through both heels. Yeah, so you can feel the whole of each foot on the floor here. And reach the arm up and over your head, find space. Go ahead, lower the right hand back down. Pick your heel up, walk your left foot over to the left side. So now you're going to stand onto the left leg. Your right leg comes parallel with the floor, so you can look at your right foot, just see where it is. You can have a bend in your left leg, and then you can pulse this right heel higher to the sky. Feel the hamstring, feel the glute. You can bend the knee and open up the hip. Remember, this left leg could be bent, and also your hands could be on blocks here. One more breath. And then release right foot next to left. Take a halfway lift. And then exhale and fold. Relax your head, nice heavy head here. Good, slowly roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together, thighs forward, hips forward. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Last sun citation. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, jump back or we'll step back. Vinyasa, your way. Down with dog. Long breath in. And a long breath in. We'll lower the knees. We're going to take the full puppy pose now. Hands to the corners of the mat, chest towards the floor, chin towards the floor. Keep lifting the sit bones up towards the sky. That's it, find that space. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Walk your hands back towards your knees. Sit your hips 
onto your heels, knees together here, and then lay over your belly. Uh, sorry, lay over your legs, forehead down onto the floor. You can take your hands down by your feet. Let your shoulders wrap around your face. Walking the hands back forwards. <laughs> back forwards, that doesn't make sense. So. And then come up onto all fours. I'll then go. So you can cross um, at your ankles and then sit your bum down onto the mat and bring the soles of the feet together. Catch hold of the toes, lift up nice and tall, and then exhale, start to fold it forwards. Walking the hands forwards, relax your head. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Coming back to the center. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take both hands over the uh, either side of the right knee, lift up tall, and then exhale, try and bring your forehead towards your right knee without lifting up your left sit bone. You can add on here, walk your left hand over towards the right side, but breathe into that left side. Take one more breath. Then walking your way back up, roll up, and then take the hands over the left knee, either side of the left knee, lift up tall, and then exhale, fold forwards, forehead down towards the knee. But don't let the rest of the body adapt so that your head gets to the knee. My head won't touch the knee here if I'm keeping my right sit bone down. You walk your right hand over towards the left side a bit. Breathe into that space. And release and bring yourself back. Well done, swing back towards the front. Lift your knees up, take your feet as wide as the mat, and then just fold in between your legs. Relax your head. Take a moment, try and relax, try and let go. I know sometimes telling you to relax in a certain pose is relative, isn't it? Whether you can, uh, you're in, a, it's a big stretch or if it's, uh, if it's not. See if you can relax your jaw anyway. See if you can relax your face. And then let the breath flow. And hopefully anywhere else that needs to relax will relax. Rolling your way back up. Take your legs wide. I like to use the mat as a little guide. So I'll have my heels lined up um, along the mat. So then I know I'm kind of equal. Lift up nice and tall. And then exhale. Just fold it forwards. And you know, you can, you can just kind of move from side to side. Just explore it. Flex the feet. Make sure those knees stay pointing upwards. You can be sat on a block here. <clears throat> you can stay on your fingertips. You could um, swing your way over to the right side, bringing your forehead down towards your right knee. And swing your way over towards the other side, forehead down towards the left knee. So if you feel a little bit better with movement, swinging from side to side, maybe walking the hands out. See what's possible for you today.
And then you can carefully walk your way back up, bringing your knees together. <laughs> Take both feet out in front. Let's catch hold of the strap again. We'll take the strap over the pads of the feet. Then you can lift your chest up. So you can give yourself plenty of strap so that your legs can be straight here. Walk your hands down the strap, trying to keep the, the, the same curve of the spine, that natural curve of the spine as you fold. Think about the strap drawing the baby toes back. So you could try pushing the uh, where the, the big toe sort of by the pad of the foot is push that down and then try and draw your baby toes back as you fold forwards. Take a deep breath in and a long breath in. Well then go ahead to one more breath here. And then you can release. Okay, take the strap away, counterpose that, point the toes, hands uh, behind you, fingers pointing forwards if you can, and then push the heels down and lift the hips up. Hold it there. Lower the hips back down. Yes, now bend the knees and bring your hips to your heels. Reach your arms forwards and Slowly lower down. You can bring your heels to your bum like you did earlier. We've already done bridge pose. So come into bridge. Exhale, lift the hips up. Squeeze your shoulders together. Now you can stay here or come into your wheel. Fingers towards your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in. And then lift the head chest up. So remember, this won't be your biggest wheel if it's the morning time. So just think about stretching through the front of the body. Breathe here for one more breath. or be there a little bit longer. If you are in your wheel, coming down to bridge. Yeah, and then lowering the spine down vertebra by vertebra. Have your feet as wide as the mat, windscreen wide for the legs. Take your plow pose or take your happy baby, you choose guys. Hug your knees in. Take the legs up and over the head or catch hold of the outer edges of the feet. Take a moment, let the knees fall by the ears, relax the shoulders into the mat. Long breath in, long breath in. Lower yourself down, vertebra by vertebra. And then bring the soles of the feet together, knees open, arms up and over your head. We got here, relax your face, relax your neck, relax your jaw. Big breath in. Then open mouth, exhale, let it go. And again, deep breath in. Let's open your mouth and exhale, let it go. Take one more breath here, inhale. And then open mouth, exhale, let it go. You can stay with the knees open, soles of the feet together, or you can just extend your legs out straight. Take a moment of stillness before we continue with the rest of the day. Just find a little moment of stillness. Put everything into perspective. your body and your mind time to move from one thing to the next. And 
no awareness on your breathing. As always, you can be there for as long as you need. Okay, but this is where I leave you. So if you want to move with me, start to breathe a little bit deeper. Move your fingers, move your toes. Big yawn as you reach your arms over your head. And you can roll over to the right hand side into your feet all shift. Keeping your eyes closed, come up to seated. Sit in any shape that feels right for you. Palms together, thumbs into the chest bone. In gratitude to the practice, we'll take a deep breath in. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste, have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope you feel a little bit freer. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thank you.